So just to give a little bit kind of clearer instructions on how to do this logo project. Once you have it drawn out, there are several different ways of going about it. What I would recommend doing is you kind of have an idea of the pictures that you want to incorporate into your design. So here I have the hot dog, I have the umbrella. For the, the type, you know, you don't want that to just be an afterthought. If this is your, your company business logo, you want to have some interesting type to it. So one way that we can go about doing that is if on your iPad, if you go to the website defont.com, it has a lot of different types of fonts. You can search for a keyword that is related to yours, or they have lots of different um, you know, types here. What you can do is if you find one that you like, you click on it, you go to custom preview, and you can type out the name of your business. And we're going to click on size here, and we're going to go to large and submit, and it'll show you a preview. Actually, for this one, let's go with medium. So it'll show you a preview of what your business name would look like typed out at in that font. So one thing that we can do is take a screenshot you know, by holding the home home button plus the power button at the same time. And you can use that screenshot to put that into your design. So once I've done that, I have my my screenshot of my my text, then just like any other drawing that we've been doing, I can start to trace over over my words so that in the end you know I have my, my text there and this is just gonna be a lot more interesting than if I were to you know, dogs. Yeah. you get the idea so from there um, you know depending on how extensive your your drawing is you could take a picture of your drawing and then place that in as your your image layer and trace from that or if you'd rather have a little bit more precise of pictures then you can find the actual pictures arrange them however you want and then and then draw them so like if i wanted to you know, have this clip art picture of a hot dog as my hot dog then I can just get that picture put it in there and then draw it so now that's just my drawing and then same thing like after I've drawn that oops, place place a picture of whatever I want and then draw that so that now I have pretty much all the parts that become my logo. I have my business name, I have the pictures that are included. The last of the requirements that I want is outlines. So you want to have at least two different outlines. And you know how thick or thin or color is pretty much all up to you. The way that I ended up finishing this in the end Look something kind of like that. So around all my letters I have the white outline, it's within a black shape surrounded by a red outline. And all of that was just drawn you know, going around it very carefully. 
kind of like that. And then, you know, sometimes it helps to, depending on what you're doing, it might be easier to draw, to kind of to overdraw, and then use the eraser tool to go back in and clean things up. So if I wanted to add another outline around here, that's kind of how I would do that and, and so on. But, but like I said, in the end, my, my logo looks something kind of like that. All right, I hope this kind of clears things up a little bit more.